Hey, hey everyone. Today I want to show you a really handy formula in Excel which uses a cell reference and, you, and searches for that cell reference, being Monday, across all the sheet names in your workbook and brings back values from that corresponding sheet name. So for example, if I go into the Monday tab, you can see it's a sales employee timesheet with some different information. And in cell C4, I've got the hours worked of seven and some other details as well. So in my calculation tab, I go back there, select Monday, and you can see the hours worked is seven. If I change this reference to say Tuesday and press enter, all the data information changes because what it's doing is it's searching for the tab or the sheet name of Tuesday and getting the values from Tuesday. You can see in C in cell C4 again, the hours worked was actually eight on Tuesday. So I'll show you how this formula works. It's pretty simple. And what we're going to use is what is called the indirect function. Indirect, open brackets. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for cell B2. So we're looking for that name of Tuesday. We're indirectly using that name of Tuesday to search through and use it in another part of the formula. So we're searching for Tuesday or cell B2. Instead of the usual where we usually put a comma, we're going to put the ampersand. And after the ampersand, some double quotation marks and an exclamation mark. And if you remember, it was the cell of C4 that we're looking for. We'll close with the double quotation marks again and close those brackets and press enter. And you can see now what that formula is doing is we're indirectly looking in uh, cell B2 for the sheet name. And then we're going to go to that sheet name and go to C cell C4 and bring back that value of eight. If I look at Thursday, the value in that cell is actually 11. So let's test it out. We'll change the search name or the reference cell again to Thursday. And now you can see the value has changed and that particular cell value is now 11. So hopefully that comes in really handy. It is a useful tool. Please subscribe, press that like button. See you next time.